The Late Adopter! Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back uh, to the channel, to the new video. This is some kind of a Cardano update from yesterday because uh, did well on that uh, video, did well on the video. Anyways, you know, yesterday a lot of people are panicking and I did not see any uh, reason to panic yet. But I thought I should make a video to tell you like when is actually time to panic, you know. Anyways, so let's get into charts and see what's actually happening and when you should panic. Now, I understand when people buy uh, the tops, you know. When you buy the tops, it doesn't have to go down a lot before people start panicking. Uh, you know, once you buy the top, it starts going down. Yeah, you you're thinking like this is over, it's over, it's over, you know. You know? But if you bought down here... Uh, the dips you know uh, and on the moves up you still got the room to uh, you know survive because if you buy, buy, buy the dips you you know and it goes up from there even if it goes down even if it's very severe drops like you can still survive that emotionally you know emotionally you can survive that because that's not that severe you know but the problem you see if you start buying tops you know it starts going down uh, you're already down 20 percent like you know thinking like i'm gonna lose everything it's going to zero and then you of course you sell over here and then it goes up and then you buy again and then it goes down and then you sell over here and you continue until your account is um, uh, totally empty so that's usually what people do and it, it's a normal reaction because people like to be certain about certain things right or i need to be certain this is a good buy and they think being up here is being certain you know it's not so basically uh it's hard to I, I know right now uh, this is uh, this drop over here was nothing to panic about we had this beautiful line over here very beautiful line uh, and you can see here that the line actually held as a support again uh, as uh, expected so uh, there was still no reason to panic but we're gonna see right uh, right now where is the reason to panic so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start looking at moving every this is four hour list we're gonna go on the daily because for all it's not gonna help us too much so uh 20 moving average as you can see here is still being broken uh and uh on the, on the uptrend uh it's actually 50 uh, moving average the yellow line that's actually holding on the uh on the daily so even though we get the, down to the uh to the uh, to the 50 moving average if we start breaking the 50 uh, uh, moving average the yellow line and start uh, being under it that should actually be a signal that something is not right so this line over here is very important to watch not the 20 moving average but actually fi uh, 50 moving average and i, I like I understand that for people that bought the tops and up here, uh, that would be most people like, uh, yeah, not, not actually, but this top over here, uh, this over here, it's a pretty big drop, you, you know, you bought uh, up here, you're like down 30%, so, but that's what you get when you play with the uh, crypto, you know, 30% down, 30% up and stuff like that. Also, when you get down here, you might think it's uh, gonna go to uh, forever, and then you're gonna, gonna see this uh, big wicks, right? And then you see the big, and you start selling, and then uh, wicks just start picking up again, and the price start going up again. So we are not actually looking for the wicks, we are looking for these body closes, these full candles, the close below over here so what you so what you want to do is uh, sorry you want to look for the closes so if you remove the VIX you want to see these full candles that they're close below the the 50 moving average uh, uh, like over here and over here but you can see every time it uh, sorry uh, over here but you can see when it dips the second candle is right back up so you need two candles below the 50 moving average to start getting panic okay now now we are in deep uh, deep you know what uh, deep waters so that's the one of the signs you should be looking for on the daily and that's the uh, 50 moving 50 moving average on the weekly that should be the 10 moving average and not the 20 that's the 10 moving average and it was supporting us uh, you can start a little bit of panic because you can see here we had some dip below the uh, 10 moving average but uh, uh, let's see the 20 moving average even the 20 moving average uh, let's get uh, use the weeks over here yeah no, I, I would say I would say the 10 moving average uh, 10 moving average should be actually held because we are right now in the in the strong uptrend. So if we start b b breaking down below the 10 moving average, that's the white line over here. Uh, that's around uh, uh, the white line is around 0 0.83. Uh, that then I would start being uh, start panicking like below this. I will be like, mm, you, you know, uh, let's just get back to the. Uh, 
remove this line i don't know where that came from and put this other line up here so these two lines right now 0 0.94 0 0.83 if, if we start going getting down to these levels again you can see the, this week over here actually held 0 0.94 very well but if we start getting the, these levels again i would start be uh, to be worried because number one we will be uh, creating uh higher uh sorry lower low this was low this was higher low but this would be a uh lower low so that would be a reason to start panicking this is not a reason to start panicking it's everything is looking good even if it goes all the way down to uh, 1.15 it's not start, uh, a reason to start panicking you can get start getting worried if it starts going below 115 you can start getting worried but as long as it's above uh, one point, uh, uh, 115 and one one where is one one uh, over here i think uh, it, it can go even but i would like to, to hold the uh, 10 and 20 moving average up here so you know as long as it's in the range there is no reason but you can start getting worried if it starts falling below 115 you can start getting worried and you can panic below here at 094 if it starts going uh, for that that's the panic uh, panic area that's the panic area and now i'm going to show you one more thing and uh, i'm going to show you another beautiful line you, you don't you guys don't appreciate the lines but i'm going to show you so this is some kind of parabolic move because everything is going parabolic right now right uh so parabolic moves are actually made uh, out of uh, certain uh certain moves right so uh this was i think uh, one of the first moves uh this is some kind of accumulation phase start phase of the parabolic move uh then you get uh build a slow slow build up and after that uh, you get this uh, uh, expansion uh, it goes something like this uh, and after that now we are expecting an even faster move up that's gonna go so every time these uh, uh, lines are broken these parabolic lines are broken uh, that means the parabolic move is broken and that's it so right now we are sitting on this uh, third line one to the third line over here and you can see here we went all the way back to the line where we got the support and we bounced off the line so if this line gets broken we are again panicking uh, so let's look at this on the four hourly chart and you can see here that we got support uh, down there these are the two panic lines right so right now that would be around 105 if we start getting below oh, 105 all of this area uh we would s s start panicking like if they, we drop below 104 105 we would start panicking so when but not on the week because weeks are weeks are getting broken or uh, weeks are doing insane things like uh, over here doesn't matter we if we close below this line we are panicking so you got all the way up here from uh, from uh, 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 0 1.04 uh, all the way down to 0, 0 0.83 if you fall below 0 0.83 and close there I, I would be in max panic but uh, up here at 0 point you can you can still like uh, come back up you know so there are gradual uh, levels of panic uh, depends on how much you can handle the first one is 1.15 like you would start getting worried then if it falls uh, below 104 like oh, yeah what do we do now maybe it can uh, bounce back because it can bounce back maybe this line is not perfect you know and stuff like that then if it falls below uh all the way down 0 0.94 then you, uh, your heart rate might go tch, tch, tch. and then if you fall below, uh, below uh, 0 0.83 you're probably full panic but you're like yeah whatever yeah whatever if it goes up it goes up uh, i don't care about money uh, you know me, me, because uh, once people lose certain amount of money they are like yeah i don't care anymore and that's a bad bad thing to do so i think you should always uh take a certain precaution before you get to that level uh, but right now there is actually i still don't think there is any uh, reason to uh, panic there is a small reason to panic and i'm gonna show you but i think uh, that's uh, that's not that big of a deal because we can still fall only to 115 and this is not actually a big deal there's this uh, error side divergence you can see here the price uh, sorry the error side is going down while, while the price uh, made a higher high so price went up from this stop over here to this stop over here but from this stop over here to this stop it went down right so that's some kind of divergence and mean that we should have uh, some kind of a uh, move back so this move can already be finished uh, right now already be finished or it can continue further uh, further down but it can continue further down to 115 uh, now it can continue all the way down to this uh, uh, line that we uh, have drawn like the, the, the parabolic line so how far this is gonna uh, can go down it, it certainly can go uh, uh, 
down further but uh, it doesn't have to do that it doesn't have to do that so right now what we know is that we have uh, support on this line over here uh, for hourly moving averages uh, let's just remove this uh, for hourly moving averages are actually uh, getting broke that uh, uh, 20 moving averages getting broke but we are here down here the yellow and the blue line that's the 50 and 100 moving average uh, on the four hourly so if we go below the 20 moving average because you can see here it's trying to hold the 20 moving average but this is four hourly so it's very likely it's going to go down all the way to 115 uh, and on the daily uh, on the daily we have the 10 moving average and the 20 moving range all the way down here so i can see still see this uh, actually going down all the way to 115 levels but i would still not be worried before we actually get, uh, start break, uh, breaking it down yes there's a certain uh, a certain uh what, what do you call it? a certain neg negativity in the technicals right now and this can still go down but i wouldn't be uh panicking before we are below 115 if we get below 115 you know you do you you do whatever you want but as long as we keep like 10 20 moving average on the daily uh, we are in the in the area we are above this line over here uh, the super bullish thing will be if we can manage to keep this support over here it doesn't we don't have to because that's how technicals do happens you know so those kind of things but that that's usually when you should be to be uh, panicking okay and i know a lot of people bought the top uh and i know there's a lot of euphoria and there has been a, you know there's like buy the rumor sell the news and the news came and then uh, start people start selling so it's only depends to see how how good the corona can hold this up now we never do talk about fundamentals on this channel so whether the Cardano is the best project or not we, we really don't care we just look at the, fund uh, sorry, the technicals and what's going to happen next and right now uh, what we know is that uh, uh, this is some kind of retracement uh, back down to the averages and will this pump or not that depends to be seen that's depends to be seen anyways thanks for watching again see you maybe later today or tomorrow bye bye wait wait I forgot one thing Hey, subscribe to the channel and like the video and uh, post down in the comments for YouTube algorithm and share the video and uh, tell your mom and dad about the video and all that shit. Thanks for watching, bye bye.